We would like to welcome all the participating students and their mentors who came all the way from various parts of India for participating in the grand finale of Smart India Hackathon 2022. From Kale University, it's a pleasure for uh, all of us to host the Smart India Hackathon. This is the initiative from the Prime Minister's office from the last six years, uh, uh, encouraging the corporates to publish their uh, unsolvable problems or uh, which are encourageable problems to the students so that uh, the Indian community of the students uh, from different universities, different colleges, will be taking up the problems and uh, they're going to solve that and in a within a time period and they're going to showcase that actually what are the new ideas, what are the uh, talents they have actually to solve that problem. So to become an unsolvable problem to a solvable problem and uh, uh, for the needs of the society they're going to provide you the solutions to it. In that connect uh, the PM office was, uh, uh, PM office was selected. Uh, the Smart India Act is a platform for Indian community so hello, this is Ruchita Chaudhary from Team Airavat and I belong to Pune University from College Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune. So uh, I had been informed from my college that there is a competition named uh, SIH Smart India Hackathon and then we started working on the project. So when we got selected in the first round, second round and in the third round as well, we got a confidence that yes, we can do. Uh, I would like to tell KL University is way too beautiful. The greenery that it carries and everything, the cleanliness it has, the people are very humble and obedient in even the non-teaching staff and teaching staff as well. Thank you so much. Hello, we are Tim Pranidhi. We came from Manipur Technical University, Manipur. My name is Dr. Thiam Bhubanata and we represent uh, the software domain from Manipur Technical University. It is quite a very fun and exciting experience coming to uh, the KL University, Vijayawada. Hello all, so I am Shuprava Shah, I am from Dr. B.C. Roy Engineering College, Durgapur. So this journey of Smart India Hackathon was a dream coming true for all of our teammates. The day we got finalized for the final team, final hackathon, we were so excited. For the last two months, uh, we can say that in Google Meet, Zoom, we have worked so hard from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. because we had our semester exams, our uh, placement exams. We are in the currently in the fourth sem, uh, seventh sem. So we are undergoing various placement trainings. So we worked hard from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. for the project we are working on today. Our project is based on our. Uh, the nature to clean and green energy. This project will be helping us in the mining sector. So we have worked hard for the last two months. The amount of hard work we have done, I am sure that we will win. Uh, this is Dr. Srinath, Dean Skill Development and Student Progression at KL Dean to be University. I am happy to come before you to inform that uh, this is the third consecutive year where our institution is hosting this Smart India Hackathon which is one of the prestigious hackathons conducted by the Ministry of Education's Innovation Council of Government of India. I can always uh, proudly say that during these past two years when we have conducted the Smart India Hackathons, uh, the winners and the runners-up, they have registered as the incubators in our startup uh, uh, foundation, which is there in our institution, that is called as KLTIF and KLTBI. So they have registered in that and we have a funding of 25 crores available with KL Deemed to be University funded from Department of Science and Technology, Technology Business Incubator Program and uh, tied as well as from ACIC which is Atal Innovation Missions, Atal Community Innovation Center. So the students have registered in that and three of them have, success, have become a successful entrepreneurs by uh, progressing towards their own uh, what we say company being uh, established at a later stage with a turnover of minimum 1 crore to 1.5 crores per annum and this is how we are grooming the students uh, innovation and thought process and entrepreneurial skills and I thank the entire team of KL skill development as well as my management 
to have come forward to host this Smart India Hackathon and the Government of India to have chosen KL Dream to be University as a centre. Hi guys, I'm Purva from all the way Ahmedabad, all the way in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. Uh, my uh, college is Government Polytechnic Ahmedabad. I am a diploma student and uh, I am the team leader of Sixth Sense. And we are currently uh, here developing a website on the problem statement which was a recycling app. Now uh, here they are asking for a real uh, uh, world solution. So we will get the experience like how the evaluators outside in the real world will uh, judge our solution and question us based on our solution like what uh, types of questions they will ask and what types of uh, presentation we will need to provide what uh, types of answers we need to give them and stuff like that also the uh, certificate here uh, that they, they will provide us for participation or uh, a, uh, if we win the certification of uh, win, uh, winners that will be uh, definitely helpful in our future. I, I mean, we can show it anywhere. Like I went to this national level hackathon over here and uh, provided a solution. And that will be helpful too. The first day we arrived was on uh, 24th and we went outside for a little bit exploring of Vijayawada. The places are uh, really beautiful. I am Harshwadhan Sharma. My team Codeholics is from the college, Northern India Engineering College, New Delhi. So, uh, when the results were announced about two months back, we all were very shocked that we were selected because there were very problems along the way during the internal, internal hackathons. Uh, in this SIH, I am doing all the graphics designing the presentation and the logo and uh, I didn't think ki hackathon, uh, in the hackathon we will be needing any graphic designing but it's uh, in today's world we don't know what we need in startup culture. Uh, one person has to do many jobs outside uh, their domain and uh, I think that's very important lesson to learn here. If I plan to do any startup or join any startup in a new stage in the future, I think it might help me that I'm comfortable uh, doing things outside, outside of my domain.